Welcome to Mrs. Peach Sufti Levine. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag Artisan Journal Prompt 2024. This is hosted by our friend Patty at Life with Patty. You can go over and check and see what she posts today and what everyone else in this awesome, awesome collaboration is posting. You know, each week she gives us a prompt and then we go about trying to figure out what we're going to do. I tried to make mine very personal and for my family. And some weeks I feel like I've really succeeded. Other weeks a little bit harder. So stay tuned, see what you think about this one. Um, also, I wanted to point out a couple of things before I get started. I've got a nice coffee today, which I know it's not Tea Tuesday, but this is my leftover coffee from this morning. I filled it with ice that I brought home from Panda Express today. I had the little cup and I just filled it with ice before I left. And I poured my coffee in it and I filled it almost to here. And I put a little milk in it and a little bit of creamer. And I've got a wonderful iced coffee drink. Oh, it's good too. You know, I almost always talk, text all of my replies to anybody that um, sends me a comment, which I appreciate so very much. And I want to thank you over and over again. Thank you. Whenever you put a like, put a, put a comment, if, even a short one, I comment back to you. But I do talk to text and sometimes it don't get it quite right. Sometimes the punctuation and I know, I mean, I know how to make pretty much how to use punctuation, but some of that don't look like I ever went to school for it. So I just wanted to mention that. I have a glimpse in my life. It's coming up, coming up tomorrow. So I hope you will uh, enjoy that and go back and watch all the others if you are think you would like to. Some of them are more, are more interesting than others, I would guess you would say, but it's my life. You know, the ups and downs, the good, the bad, and the ugly of life. Here's our artisan journal. Something in each week. And this one was feathers. And I thought, what am I going to do on feathers? I don't know that I even mentioned it on my channel, but, you know, I had did a short. I do a lot of shorts. I don't get anything for it. I do get uh, some new subscribers that way. I don't know how many of them stay, but it's fun to see the numbers go up. Had my son had this one place right outside my living room that they, the birds build nests year after year, and I've never been able to get them to stop from building it there. And it's not the best place. They leave the side of the house really a mess. And I know you've seen it if you've watched any of my, any, any of my shorts, but it was time my son offered to knock it down. And of course, there was no birds in it, no, no eggs in it. Thank the Lord, it was a nest. And I took a little short of it, and there was all these feathers and all. But it was before I knew about this prompt. So I thought, what am I going to do for feathers? I swept those up, cleaned them up, dumped it all in the garbage can. Well, as I've been out in the yard since I knew about this, this prompt, on Sunday, I have kind of been on the lookout and I come across a few feathers. So that's the feathers I have here. I have four feathers. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this down and tell you, show you what I did for this prompt 2024 feathers. I did not put a background piece of paper this week on mine because this was the way the the page look all these different colors and i thought that would be a good background as it was so what i did i had these two stickers this one and this one i had two stickers that um with birds on it so i put the birds on and here is the feathers that i collected from my yard this big white one i don't know what that one was and then the, you can see the different colors and i did a, a attempt of drawing a couple of feathers you could think they're leaves also <laughs> and then at the bottom i did a little bit of jimmies here little a little bit of bling not a lot 
right here. Okay, and then, and then I found a piece of paper, another piece of paper that I had, and I made a little envelope out uh, of it with a little swan. It's got feathers on it. And then I, f I looked up the, some scriptures. Let's see, that's awful there. Okay, let's see. I looked up some scriptures, and this was one of the verses from the Bible, of Psalms 91, 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shall thou trust, shall be thy shield and buckler. That's Psalms 91.4. We can trust the Lord. And then when I was thinking of this, and I made a pocket, and I put this in the pocket. I wrote this out. When I have these lights shining, they just are too, just so bright that um, it causes a glare. Okay, this is what I'm going to read to you. I wrote it off from, and there is one story after another on the internet about feathers. This one's the feathers of gossip. And I know you'll find all kinds of versions of this. The most unusual penance St. Philip Neri assigned to a woman for her sin of sharing gossip. This was supposed to be in the 16th century. Saint instructed her to take a feather pillow to the top of the church bell tower, rip it, open it, and scatter the feathers to the four winds. Okay. So the story is, after she did that, she went back and told the priest or whoever he was, the rabbi, priest, whatever he was, then he said, now go gather every one of them up. Well, you know and I know that is a total impossible thing to do. And that was a story of the way we, if we do gossip, and it's for all of us, it's not just you I'm talking to, I'm talking to me too. You cannot gossip and hope and pray it's going to be okay because it's just not. I mean, usually the story gets elaborated on more and more and more, and all of a sudden it's just nothing like the real thing. So I just thought that the story of the feathers was good to put in here, and I made the pocket. I'll fold that back in there. And this is my, my feathers prompt 2024. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll come back and uh, join me tomorrow for a glimpse of my life. Actually, what I did, I have to go back and do part of it because I did it at the at the donut shop one day, and I was pretty happy. I thought, oh, I got this all done, but all of a sudden my mic quit working about a fourth of the way through, and I thought, oh no, now I have to go back and do it again. But I will have practiced up on it by the time I do it again, and I hope you enjoy it. Come back for to, to that tomorrow. I pray God just blesses you today. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. And let's remember, let's don't go about gossiping. If you can't say something good about a person, let's just leave our mouth shut. That's a better way. And maybe, you know, and ask God to help us to... Um, Ask God to help us to find something good about that person. You know, there's always something good about just about every person. Don't dwell on the negative. Even in our marriages, we can, you can start thinking about all of the bad things he did. Or you can turn that around and think of all the good things he did. I hope you enjoyed that today. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you.